So what you do first is you cry, you focus on the important things. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses. So why they need to give you the financial aid? So get ready, and I hope that you're ready to party. Get your hair done, get your nails done, put on makeup if you wanna have fun. Yeah, if you know that you're ready to. Hey guys, hey besties, check out and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to talk about um, tips for budgeting in uni, <laughs> tips for budgeting in university. I am, I think I'm literally the queen of budgeting in uni because I don't spend money. I don't spend, spend money anyhow, so um, I spend, before I spend 15 hours per day, that's in the car when my hostel was, I mean, but now I don't spend money, so this is how I spend my own money. I'm going, to, I'm going to not give you tips. So what I do is that I don't buy food like holidays fast. I'm in of Vegas. I don't buy food like holidays fast. Go out to buy food and you know, and also I cook. Mommy gives me food stops and I cook a lot. So I'm not always with cash. So most of the things that I get food stops, so I cook a lot. And I make sure I'm always with cooking and I literally cook every day, every day. And if I don't, I'm not going to buy cooking noodles. I'm not going to buy natural for cooking noodles. So I cook every day. I don't really buy. Yeah, I did this before I come, like this semester I think I bought like two three times. I was like playing on the game myself. Even though I didn't have the money like to buy, I need to buy. I think three or two, two times. The first one I bought was um I bought beans with potato, with plantain and um sausage. Yes, sausage with beans and people not ask me why but it was very sweet, five hundred naira. The other one I bought was five hundred naira, six hundred naira. That was some spaghetti, jello fries, sausage and so yeah let me give you now the tips of how to budget in university so budgeting is an essential i'm going to i already got it here so you know you know budgeting is an essential life skill that can help you manage your finances effectively especially in university where money can be tight here are some tips for budgeting in uni number one is to create a budget to create the budget okay this is the amount of money i want to be spending in a semester, amount of money I want to spend in a week, amount of money I want to spend in a month, in a, in a day. Create a budget that includes your income, expenses, and savings. The amount of money you are saving too. So, like, I have this opening stuff that um, I lock my money. I started doing it recently, actually. I did it once. This is one I lock like 6k now, and I I set a date on when I want the money to release. So when money, when the date comes, you just put the money into your account back, like. You open it, not because it is your account, so just open it, you get. So yeah, it's actually very good. So I'll be doing it when I start working after this semester. When I'm working every day, I will lock up more than like I'll lock like eighty percent of the salary. Salary so I can pay school fees and other things and get some other things and just help me save because I'm not really a person that saves. So locking the money is actually very nice because there's no way you can get the money. There's literally no way you can get there's literally no way you can open it. I don't until the day until that day comes. And if you can you can do it that and they'll give you like extra the more the day the more the more small interest, it's more small interest, it's just Kobo. You don't have the amount, it's Dosha. They are the interest they are giving you, they are giving you interest too. So, OPE gives like, OPE is actually a very good um, thing for students. I used to not trust it before, but now it's not bad. All I do is I don't put that big amount. But obviously, what, what am I even making? I'm not making that big amount. I'm not like making 100k, 1 million. I'm saving the OPE. You get so that kind of thing. You have that, you have an OPE. I don't think you should be putting like, I'm not put 100k. You can put money I want to be spending and transferring and all, but money I want is like, keeping. And go to pick best or other places to save your money. So yeah, um, identify your essential expenses such as tuition, that school fees, school fees, rent, you're still at the outside of school, you know, um, food, utilities, and transportation. So food, you know, eating, transportation to class, back and forth, utilities, other things that are required. Maybe your stuff in those there, your lights, your um, socket got spilled. You, you need food stuffs, you need water, you need, it's just things that you need. Um, then allocate the main money to non essential expenses such as entertainment, dining out, and shopping. So that I need to pay the budget that of um, making out things of essential things like your school fees, your rent, your utilities, and transportation. Then, then you make the budget of that thing, and you cannot like allocate the main money so what you do first is you cry you focus on the important things then the rest you cannot you cannot put them in entertainment sh buying clothes shopping with main clothes like i mean um, one of my main purpose of working during the is three things salary clothes and um salary clothes and school fees clothes and another thing 
a business owner starts, yes, a business owner starts. Uh, then you put the other things, entertainment, going out shopping and all. And I advise you also to also before putting entertainment and all, after finding out things that you need for your school and everything and everything, you now put savings before you now find out um, entertainment and all those other things. Savings, money you're going to be saving. It's even here, but you know, just to let you know that I feel like you should focus on your main, like focus on the things that you need money for. Then after you create the budget for that, you like you are, you are supposed to collect 100k, and the things that you only require in your school is like 60k. Then meaning 40, right? You can put 30 for savings or 20 for savings, and meaning 20 for your enjoyment. Um, number two, track your spending. Keep track of your spending by using a budgeting app or spreadsheets. Special Excel spreadsheets, so if you don't want to have an app or something, just keep track of. Keep track of. I use my notes, my iPhone notes, of keeping track of what I spend. And whenever I go to buy first of all, I always, I always write everything I need, I want the food I need. And then I come back, I collect the account amount green. How much is that kind of come? Whatever is amount come things. I buy, I buy more than the amount I would, I would. I buy less than the amount I would. And then I'm something like expensive for me to buy more than the amount. So just track amount, of, track the amount of amounts I'm spending. Get. Yes. And then you have to do it by per month. The amount of card you are buying, the card you are. Um, at time you are loading to your phone, to that your bank or buying to, to, to cash or you know amount of airtime, time, amount of like you usually make a list, amount of data I use in a month. Or you can start by a week, once it was too far. In a week then from a week you when you when you have when you are now like stronger and that means everything you cannot move to a month. Yes, I feel like that's better. In a week data you use and spend a time a time you use and spend money on this, on that, on transportation, on feeding stops you know just make a spreadsheet or you can do that an app track your spending review your spending regularly and adjust your budget as needed so you can adjust okay my budget um, i'm budgeting 60k 60k is not enough you can reduce it to 80 70k or if it's too much you can use it to 50k if like yeah like the budget is too much okay you can use it to 50k so um number three is reduce your expenses reduce the thing that you spend money on yes and that extra Coke, Pepsi, drink when you're eating is not needed. That um, yogurt um, once a day is not needed. You can take once a week or once in two days. Some things are not just needed. Some um, the extra chicken meat, soup, pepper, for more soup and your soup is not needed. <laughs> My brother, mm -hmm. it's not needed. Maybe just meat or for more. I think I put for more in school because I told you. You know, I, I make my money myself, I won't pay off the sick so but no one wants to talk so um um I use for more in school. Um I don't say I use it for more because nobody should give me fish I stick to school. So my fish finished and I use it for more. So and I think I I think I say for more my ice cream soup or no soup and um and it's like you have to warm water to put milk water like water has to be there to before you put your bono but it's to draw so I'm gonna be boiling water because you, you can't but I feel like now let me just buy for more two hundred naira, three hundred naira, cut it small small pieces I do the water just for myself do get so um then I put the fish to add the fish to it. So yeah you can reduce your um spend expenses. Look for ways to reduce your expenses. Consider buying used textbook from a, a scholar if I'm um, as this is that but this is applied to um somebody's school. I don't think in uni I think one post that is because obviously there's some projects that you do that might be a year a year one if I have food, I might be your one topic, so you need your textbook to get so I uh, maybe someone that's going out of school, you can buy this textbook. Get um you can buy cooking, you can start cooking at home instead of buying food outside, using public transportation instead of doing Uber and boat, um using student discounts, that's Nagoros Nigeria that doesn't exist here. <laughs> But you can use OPAY, so reduce your transfer spending, like no charges when you transfer. And it transfer it immediately. They don't have to start sitting down waiting for their lab to arrive. That's why I love OPAY, because it's faster and then no, no, no cash. And then you also earn money. You can use 10, 10 naira or something per day. 10, 10 naira actually. But my mom will reduce the perfect naira. No, I don't know. Um, Yes, and. Avoid impulse buying and unnecessary expenses. Sometimes I always have this impulse buying, but I know that whenever I have it, I know I need it because imagine staying like two, three, one month without buying anything. So I don't buy, okay, I want to just drink food, I want to drink Fanta. And I buy it and I enjoy myself. And the next time I buy it, maybe longer, maybe I don't even buy it again for last semester. Do you get so? But for someone that buys it a lot, avoid buying impulse, avoid impulse buying and, um, and unnecessary expenses like buying, you want to cook soup, you want to buy the whole of everything like the soup, like the whole of everything. Just so you can you need a couple of a bonagid or bonagid but more you need but you need a ubu you need your um your 
obstacles. <laughs> I call it obstacles. So obstacles you can buy fish and pomo. You can buy fish and meat. Fish, pomo and meat. You don't need to buy fish, pomo, meat, uh, okay, fish. See, see, see. Uh, what again? Again? What again? <laughs> so the next one, um, as number three, reduce your expenses. So cooking at home. Um, was that buying used textbooks, using public transportation, and using students discount? Not in Nigeria, though. Avoid impulse buying unnecessary expense. Avoid buying like yogurt, drinks every time you want to eat. Avoid all those things. Like me, I only buy drinks. I make sure that when I'm at home, I drink on love. Mommy sells drinks. She has drinks. So I just in love. Never to school. Like, when I go to school, I don't buy. So I only I I reward myself once in a while. Because when I'm doing an exam, I reward myself after like a very long like an exam that was actually very tough. But I know that I killed it. I reward myself. But maybe, maybe normal exams. I never take ice cream or drinks. So the exam period actually two two months have gone. So I can't remember any how to spend it. Um. Yes, but normal time I still have a long way to go for this so I can't spend money anyhow. Then number four is find sources of income. Now I can't really do this because um I said that when I was when I was I said that when I'm school semester, I would make sure that um I'll be working while I'm school. But I can't because I have classes, I have um church, I have video editing to do YouTube videos to post, I have sleep to sleep to rest, I have system I'm, I'm supposed to be reading in the library, you know, and like I have to cook too because I will get hungry usually every time I have to make sure my I'm cooking a lot of food that I know that I can carry me to like the next morning or to that thing, just in case. You know, I have a lot of things I get and I'm, I get tired easily a lot. I, a lot of things. So just look for ways you can increase your income. I like Opay because Opay makes me love my money. I don't know if I've met. I was mentioning, I mean, said, I said a lot of things in that video that was not being recorded. Like, I was talking for like a whole five minutes that was not recorded. <clears throat> but it's fine. So, um, I guess they don't want me, they don't want to hear what I was saying. So, it's fine. So, I was saying, um, yeah, um, I like Opay because Opay is that, Opay, it's like, you as a student, when you're doing transfer, mostly this cash period you make transfer like everywhere because that got in transfer and I like it. But like, I don't like the cash stuff, I like that you was able to bring something nice to the table. So transfer thing is acceptable and Opay um cha doesn't charge at all transfer. And like on that bank, so that bank so you use the app, doesn't charge one more is um telling. And then it's when the app doesn't charge. Last time I was using the app. I think yes, I don't know about now. But last time was like maybe two or three months ago or something. But um Sterling, mom is Sterling. They literally charge the same amount I like, want to use for girls. This so what's the point? Like usually, twenty. So even depend on the net, depend on the money. The more the money, the more the charge. Like, are you serious? I'm using an app. Like it's supposed to be free. Then you cannot like move charges fifteen or hundred naira every month. Like seriously. Anyhow, um, yes, I can't really do. So I'm like. Oh, my so I like open because of the free transfers and then you get to end the 10 hour per day. I've been ending 5 hour like these days recently. I don't know why that they do. And then you get to lock your money. I lock my money. I try to lock my money like this. I said, I'm locking my money. And you can lock your money to like give it an amount of days day that it will come back. So you can say 3 months. I say 2 so months, 1 year. And once it's 1 year, that date will open. They will bring your money back. So you don't need to go. You can forget. You lost your money when you put your account. Like the money is just there. You get So it's actually a very nice thing. You want to use using Opay. Honestly, you don't put like 1 million inside. Just put like 100 money that you can be like spending and you know just small, small money you can keep your big amount of money in other banks that you trust or other places then um consider part-time work you know if you can i'm able to know you can enjoy you cannot do part-time you're not moving to a full-time a full-time school or else i did a part-time schooling and be doing part-time work you can consider freelance jobs i was thinking of doing freelance but like i call i know some of my companies are doing it they're doing the right thing but but as i was like i think i get out easily a lot uh, uh, like, even if I want to do this, I have to do video editing on. But yeah, I'm not good. I'm not that good yet. And again, you have to create your portfolio, do a lot of things to make you able to get jobs. And you know, everybody's learning video editing these days. And everybody has a laptop. And not really everybody's learning video editing these days. Not everybody because like they take their they don't edit their videos themselves. Which like for I mean, it's me. There are three girls, and I feel like at least one should know how to do video editing. And even if I want to just do it in the right professional way, so they can make money easily and not get trash. So they don't like they want to be poor, poor, poor. I still still remember. It's fine. Right, they're my friends. But I was like, it's just a good skill. I really like also one of the things I have to channel that I I was able to learn is I was able to learn the skill of how to video edit and actually very me a lot and even Photoshop. 
Like, people Photoshop, people edit pictures. I'm still, I'm, I'm like, I'm still, like, yeah, let me tell you, I'm still, I'm not trying that one. I'm still in movies now, but like, I mean, I'm, I'm trying because I don't really edit a lot of my YouTube videos. I check it out. I don't really edit a lot. I'm so lazy in that part. But if you edit something, like, if you edit something that once I start, I cannot get, like, I can't stop. Like, I don't want really to edit, like, five videos at once in a day, ten videos in a day. Like, I just want to just continue editing and editing because just, like, it's just so, so refreshing and so calm to me. Okay, so, um, um, you can do online gigs. So the online gigs, people always tell me that, oh, do you like? I can I have friends that I have friends that I, I want to do that one. I have friends that do it. She does. She make a lot of money through it. She's like, so yeah, when I was doing this stuff, she was like I have a fine nails that I could do all this, you know, for modeling or whatever. And people tell me that I have fine, like I have a very nice fits for shoes, feet. I have a very nice. My hair is nice. So that like, front hair is not there. Um, my hair, like my hair is actually very nice. The texture, the quality, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at my hair, like, oh, look at the front there's one day. And I have a very nice lip switch. My secret business is coming down. I mean, I'm not gonna say it now. And I got a very nice skin color. It is not as popping, it's not as clean, it's not as clear. But it's, I have nice things, but like, it doesn't really pop. And I don't know people, so I can't do Nike and all, you know, like model. I want to do model, or you know, not like an actual model. No, I was not an actual model, obviously. But like, model for face, beauty, makeup, model. And model, any literally any model I'm, I can call me if I need to. It used to talk, advertise your products, you know, like smell and look pretty and make clingy, like jokes that will make your products sell. Trust me, I'm available. But yeah, um, I don't know people. So you can apply for scholarships, um, scholarships, you can apply for scholarships, bursaries, and all financial aid in case, like. You know, your parents are looking up something that yeah, happens in Nigeria. Your parents are like, you have to up and why you why they need to give you the financial aid you get. Then, number five is prioritize your needs, prioritize your needs over your wants. So, you need to prioritize your needs over your wants. Your needs are obviously you need to drink water and you need to eat food. Your wants are, um, I need to drink coke as your wants. Yeah, um, your needs are you need to wear clothes, obviously. Your wants are. I need to wear uh, the latest um, Gucci, the latest Gucci's trousers, the latest this, this, that, 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 that. You need trousers, yes, but not the latest. That's all. This wants. When you need it, it's a need. When you need the extra, 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 it's a want. Do you get? So prioritize your needs over your wants. Avoid overspending on non-essential items. Um, Focus on your academic goals and invest in experiences that enhance your learning and personal then enhance your learning and personal goals. Like um people I, I do not do this semester semester. Some semesters actually like the semester for party, sports, games, literally everything. So there's one thing that like, I really like regretted though is that I do not dance in the all week. Like we we call people after my dance. Because people were winning free money, fifty K, forty K some people like they the long that they got to there's like put my mother dance. Nobody wants to come out. So when two weeks and one came out, she said and the most celebrities I think was fuse. And not fuse are celebrity games. Everybody come people will watch out. It's one celebrity but an influencer, not a singer and an influencer because people don't really come out. Um so when the when the uh, first person came out, I said you're going to collect 40k before for coming out. That person came out to collect 40k. Imagine I came out first, 40k like that, for not even dancing. Just, and then you start to dance again to finish your money. It's often more like money so to do that for dancing. And people that were dancing there, I swear. Like, yeah, maybe they were there. They don't have to dance just Igbo, Agro, like, the dance that dance more than me. But they cannot dance more than me. That's the time period. So, yeah, um, and if I want to try to start that thing, I want to be doing that thing, I have to try that and work on my dancing. I think I've really, I I slapped it. It's not like slapped, but like, you know, it have belong. So I have to work on it. So yeah, just, I will do it next 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 year, next session. Just next session. I'm going to win money. I'm going to win money and free 50k, 40k. Buy me guys. I have been like uh, buying to guys. This, but I already have it just in case. I got that birthday gift for Nathan. I'm going to thank you Nathan. Thank you Nathan. So yeah, um, I will can even get a LED light. You know, then make sure that I do like a studio in my mini room, a mini studio maybe at this side, this side here, yeah. and then also upgrade obviously, obviously, obviously upgrade my iPhone, not just in a bigger one, but also a bigger space. Like right now, if I have a little more money, I'll upgrade to a bigger space. I'll still be this one like a seven, but it's like maybe one that's just something the, the, the highest space and I can seven and a half. I want to upgrade it to. I hope it's not like this. So yeah, um, 
people who things are in hands you're learning and uh, you're learning and personal growth like my youth so now i did not do those i did not do sports in so most of my classmates were doing sports they're playing with football teams playing chairs as hod L O department being department of the 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 department i did not even go and watch at once or oh, like i don't know and it's not it's not really bad but like often i'm not getting big jacket over but then i'm not like I'm actually, but i'm actually doing something though which is youtube so it's not like I don't do anything about for my studies and oh I'm doing YouTube and I'm also working when I'm, I have opportunity to work and I'm doing things so it's not like I'm just there going to school and not getting um getting skills do you get but yeah I still need to do these kind of things but like I'm, I was like I'm not I'm, I'm not have, do not doing anyone I'm doing YouTube YouTube is actually a very good thing let me learn and learn and learn like kata how to talk how to present yourself. Also, when you make researches, you learn new things, then how to get skills. That is literally, literally things I learned that I learned from YouTube videos. Skills like can make them how to angle camera, camera filming things. Though obviously, I'm not the film school. I'm not, I'm not obviously, I'm like, why, why like the But like, I've learned more than basics and editing and you know, a lot of different things. So, yes, um. Number, number six is save for emergencies. Set aside some money for emergencies, such as unexpected expenses or job loss, just in case you go out of job. So you have money to take care of yourself for some while to get a new job. And then emergencies, just save for emergencies, save money. So you need to have like a normal saving and then a saving for emergencies. So you don't touch, you don't have to save together, and then now emergency is not coming out of so I don't even try it. You need to even be having money that you are saving for. Because you want to take care of yourself. So now you have to have normal saving for your future. That one you never touch it after. That one you want to invest in everything that comes down to your future. Then you have savings for things that you want to get. Like, okay, by I'll save for six months, then we draw it, I'll get this thing, all these things. Maybe a week, a very good week, like very quality week, a big light, a this, a that, a laptop, this and this. So you save for six months to get these things, or even if the year to get these things. Then you after the year that you got the things, you start saving again for the next I mean, the next thing you need to get as to then the third savings for emergencies, so if anything happens, anything like God forbid, loss of anybody, loss of any, anything, you know, emergencies, bad emergencies, good ones, you know, I pray that you really put emergencies in your life, just in the amen. <laughs> okay, so yes, um, aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses. So basically, um, basically, you aiming to save at least three to six months worth of expenses is, um, so basically, your, your savings for the entire year should be like your salary for like three to six months. I don't know how to explain it, but like, say plenty much. Number seven, avoid debts. Don't owe people. Instead of owing, manage what you have or don't do that thing at all. Don't owe, avoid debts. And because I want to owe, you can owe your mom, family members, don't owe anybody outside because, and you don't, you don't owe because don't owe an habit. You can't owe and owe and owe and owe. If you're not really good at creating habits, don't owe at all. Avoid using credit cards or taking out loans. A lot of people do this. I have someone that like, usually collect loans every, usually every time. But the government worker, so so it doesn't have an issue. Like, when, money, when money enter, avoid using credit cards or taking out loans unless necessary. If you don't, if you do use credit cards, pay off the balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Number eight is seek financial advice. Seek financial advice from professionals or resources on. Um, seek financial advice from professionals or resources on campus. Many universities offer financial literacy workshops, counseling, or resources to help manage your money effectively. And that's literally all for the YouTube video. Um, thank you guys for watching. As I, the reason why I'm doing this video again is because obviously I'm the queen of budgeting in school that I know. Because I usually spend no money in school. Because you know, there's no money to spend. So, what money will I spend? <laughs> Well, yeah, I have one interesting amen. There's one interesting amen. So, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, you like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys for my next video. Bye. If you guys love the makeup, I did, make, I did a makeup video about my boyfriend does my voice over makeup video. Please go and watch my YouTube videos in case you have been watching. Like if not, if you've not been liking, share my videos to family and friends. Comment on anything you want to comment. If it's a joke, I will laugh to you in the comment section. You know, let's chit chat in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, you can subscribe. It is totally free to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, don't don't subscribe again because to me you it's so literally on un unsubscribe you you get. Yeah, and then when you subscribe, you need to turn on the post notification bell 
that there's a bell, they turn it on, so you get me to fire when I upload a new YouTube video. And if you are subscribed already, just and you don't have the bell turned on, turn it on. If you have to subscribe, subscribe and turn the bell on. Thank you guys, see you in my next video. Bye!